One time, one time, say! Ellelele! Ellelele! Big, 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 big! Big, 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 big! Big, 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 big! Ah, you be low! Okay, so, you must say, come on! Can you feel it? Say! Can you feel it? Don't get up again. 
blood of Jesus. I have power and authority over all the power of Satan. I have right and privileges. By my position of standing in heavenly places. Where I am seated with Jesus Christ. I am far above principalities and powers. Above rulers of darkness of this world. Above spiritual wickedness in high places. I am what God says I am. In Christ. I am not poor, but in Christ. Sickness and diseases shall have no authority over my body. Sickness and diseases shall have no authority over my body. All because of the blood of Jesus. All because of the blood of Jesus. Sin shall not have dominion over my life. Sin shall not have dominion over my life. All because of the blood of Jesus. All because of the blood of Jesus. I pronounce today. The Holy Ghost fire cover my church. Cover my pastors and their families. Cover my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Why are you standing? Hallelujah. It's a joy and day. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, Aaron has come to wear, to wear, and to have, and to hold. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. To you, O oh God, be glorified, be magnified. For this is the first institution that we ever established on earth. He said the man will leave his family and cleave to his wife and make them one. We have come, O oh God, that you will join these couples together and no man will put a center. We have come with the authority invested in us. As heaven by us, O oh God, we sign to your operation right now with a charge in the water against every marine spirit that has been a
something is happening here right now. Amen. That in three days, something new is taking place. Amen. Somebody is finding favor in the sight of God. A man who found it wealth. So somebody is finding favor right now. And I know after this movement, there will be a lot of open doors for you. Amen. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Let us go. Then prepare for our first change of reading. And that will be coming from Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 to 24. And they will be done by the Reverend Pastor John B. Eddy. Put on the name of God's servants as he walked through the country with the name of God's servants. To move our Old Testament suit of reading. Praise the Lord. Good. We will be reading from, for you for the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 18 to 24. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him an apartment for him. And all of the ground the Lord God formed every piece of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. Whatever Adam called them, every living creature that was the name thereof. I will give names to all cattle and to all the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not form and help meat for him. And the Lord God called, caused a district to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib, and the Lord which, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from there made a woman and brought her unto Adam. And Adam said, This is now the bone of my bones. And flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother, and call and cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. The word of the Lord. It's not good. So God made someone called a beautiful flower. Quickly, we we'll listen to the second scripture reading from the New Testament. Matthew chapter 19, verses 5 to 6. We will again welcome Pastor Matthew. Tell him who will do our second scripture reading with the name of Jesus. And God said, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and deny his wife. Yes. And the two will become one, so they are no longer two, but one. No human being will separate them. What God has done together in Jesus' name. Yeah. 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 the mother and the father of the house who have left their own parents no sense to give her worship. And after that worship, we will be listening to the message for the day that was put on position after the war of the year to be married people. Amen. If you are not married yet, then start putting your house in order. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. 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 The song. Come and make my heart beautiful. Come and be everything I am. So
us that may yet will be consecrated. Some of us who are not going to be able to come and say something. Marriage will be successful, or if they marry, might succeed. 
you must prayerfully avoid these things. Mm. In this marriage, when the era is says while I will be successful, today we have come celebrating. Few hours from now, the celebration will be over. Yeah. And then we all must try to make things work out. There will be days that you wake up in the morning, you don't want to see my face. Even in the days of your celebration. Marriage is now 
always joyful. At times you wake up in the morning, you don't want to see your spouse. Sometimes you get up maybe from wherever you are very frustrated, and when she comes around, you think you don't just feel comfortable being around her. Or you don't think of feel comfortable being around. In this situation, you can't embrace the situation at home that you never expected, or you don't want him or her to do. There's a temptation to begin to yell at her, to shout at her, to use her insulting language towards her. Avoid correcting one another with prior spirit. Pride will destroy your relationship. Pride will not help you, no matter what. Sometimes she will keep repeating the blessing, just keep bearing her. That's what I need to do. It's a blessing I need to do. It requires patience. It requires being gentle. Look, you know what? It could be me. Why would it happen? First, you have to see what you have done that caused your spouse to do what he or she has done. Sometimes we don't consider what we have done. We always think that I always say for what we did is a little issue, but when I was part there is a big issue. Now, when you take the issue out of proportion, then what happens? You don't see your fault. You always think that they have done wrong. Father, let me give you this example. Why a brother call, call you? You want to say what you are calling you? Call you and you go in conversation with another person. And she kept calling, the call coming, and you look at, okay, my wife coming. And he keep in conversation with another person. What do you expect from her? To come and go there, oh, they you are so nice guy, you are a nice guy. I know you love me so much. You should not to respond that way. Why did you do it? You can't say, why did you refuse my call? Why did you kept I moved your dog away, by the way, and I kept calling you at the phone. You just me, and you are not uh, picking up my call. What was happening? Oh, I was talking about one of my friends. I was talking about your friend and your wife who is so important. Oh, my. <laughs> so, you have called the part. You have lost her, or you have lost her, my brother. No, I'm sure I've called the person. Look, my husband is calling me. I'll call you back. Hey, Amen. That's a fact. Amen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Amen. Because know what you have done first. Because if you help yourself to identify your own problem, you can understand your, 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 your spouse's problem. And you'll be able to help the Lord. See how? I'm sorry for what I did. That's not the problem. I'm sorry. I should have picked up your call. Then no one in my life so important to you. You see? Yeah, you see? You see? Yeah. So, Jonah, now, to help us understand this, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 3 to 5, he said, well, you say you want to take some of them and just let them go in the eye. Eh? He said, first of all, what? Take the beauty that you see in your eye, then you'll be able to see good to help remove the little thing that you see in your eye. Many times we see paintings in our spouse's eyes and we don't see the worst one that we have in our eyes. I hope and pray our fault. We see our people's fault. We see our husband's fault. We see our wife's fault. We think that we are a Mr. or Mr. Perfect. Now remember this no relationship, no marriage who is perfect is 100%. Because why? We have two sinners. Saved by the grace of God through Jesus Christ that have come to live together. Amen? Amen. So, how do you understand that? So, correct your friend with humbleness. Be humble. I believe that one of there are many things that destroy marriages. There are sexual immorality that will be the worst of all. But I believe that there are times when we began pride. Pride leads to a situation that will cause us to damage our relationship. And soon we start blaming other people for being the cause of our relationship in the past. Not just correcting one another, avoiding pride, in correcting one another. The second point I want you to consider is avoid killing each other. Avoid killing each other. It's so sad. It saddens my heart 
that you see a woman who said that and discuss all the past of the husband to another friend. And then we do the same. You go and say, and that destroy him. You say that your best friend, but say everything that gets you from your wife. Then the next thing he sees your wife coming, they say, honey, I don't know. He says, look at the hypocrite. How will you destroy the woman to make her say that you're honey? You see, to help us understand it. He said, blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Do they agree with me as a son? Sexual immorality has destroyed more marriages than any other threat. However, I believe that, the, the, that one of the most dangerous things that have undermined and destroyed marriage is anger. Anger. And this is how the Bible wants us against in Matthew 5, 21 and 22. Anger causes you to say bad things. But uh, by your friends. After insulting them, after sorry, negative things about them, but it's the same body where Lana behind. It's the same body where Lana behind, where Lana with. You are very insulted at the person. You can let them pay, even your mother and children. Sometimes when a woman can say, I don't know, I don't know, where your husband? I don't know, I don't know. You call your husband, I don't know. The man will do the same thing. It makes you say bad things to your spouse. Your foot and your head each other. It's time you for doing good, not a good thing for her. And it's time for her to do nice thing for you. No, you know, I think some of you may have read the story about the guy who came but for just for me, Kasawa Lee. What sin does that mean? If you don't mind Kasawa Lee, you never look for Profit in the spirit of thee. You get a wife because you told her not to go to Saudi. Avoid killing one another. Avoid destroying one another. It wouldn't help. If that relationship will succeed, correct one another with a humble spirit. If that relationship will succeed, avoid killing one another. Uncontrollable anger will spread out today. You will see. So if a woman will be like in the street, the all on you. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Bro, yeah, bro. Everyone say what I do in this video. Tell me, what example are you setting up? Avoid killing one another. There will be problems, there will be challenges. But find a better way around. Go in the bedroom and discuss it. You need someone, and then in the bed, you want to tell you. But you said, you know what happened? And you said, you know what happened? You know what happened? You know what happened? Let it go. 
the Matthew, it tells us, if we don't forget, God said, I will not forgive us. If you don't forget, God will not forgive you. You must learn to forgive one another. What happens if you are not willing to forgive your friend? Don't be surprised if you can't forgive you one day, he gets the money and says, Why are you in a relationship? It's incompatible. Now, once you get that money incompatible with me, you're going to be a divorce. You see? And that going to be easy. As soon as the person keeps doing the thing, the sin they keep that in sorry, sorry. It's not just going to be easy. But Lord, help me. I love her. I love me. Lord, help me. To just forgive me for what you do. Let me find a better way. Today, as you start today, we all pray and hope that the relationship will be a successful one. We look forward to that. And we know with God and God, we shall succeed. And you will be a good example to other young people. There are other people who are hard. Okay, we come with them for 10, 15 years. I never tell them. And we know that God will not win. I made that mistake. I don't think I can keep you. That's the truth of God. But I tell God that the devil, why, why, yes, you can ask me. I do not know. But at least you are going to keep your word to her. That one is for me. Amen. It's important. Yes, you're going. But today, you're smiling. Today, Yesterday, day for yesterday was a happy occasion. There will be challenges here after. We see the sun shining, the rain will fall. We see the daybreaks, there will be darkness. If I don't go there, they can say, look out of me, they can say, look out of me. They can say, look out of me. Today, the people she had, they have the best of things. Today, the person, he made that big But 10, 30, 20 years from now, he said, look in the eyes and say, Aaron, do you know at the church, I said, I love you, I still love you. Ah, hey. And you can say, look in the eyes and say, you know what, I still love you, no matter what. Ah, hey. Amen. Ah, yeah. So, to succeed, avoid Christ's theory. Avoid uncontrollable anger. And lastly, and for unforgiving spirit. I pray that the Lord bless you people, that your relationship will be a good example to other young people, and they can follow the example. God bless you. With these words I said, I want to say God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much for God bless you, mate. Hallelujah. I know everyone can't wait to have my own head yet. In fact, I think I'm going. Hallelujah. Can this wonderful blessed man please join me here as we team up together to do this great work? Hallelujah. Can I please have this water and our maid of honor come to the eye?
in the first miracle which he wrought in Cana of Galilee and is commanded in holy writing to be honorable among all men and therefore is not by any to be enterprise nor taken in hand on advice lightly or wrongly. Hallelujah. That is why we had to carry you through counsel because you should not enter into this on a way. Hallelujah. I require this charge. I require and charge you both as you will answer at the day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts will be disclosed that if either of you know of any impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured that so many as we couple together, otherwise then God's word doeth a lie, are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. Amen. Amen. I know that there is no impediment. And if anybody wants to show up, please look behind there and see that sample. Amen. Amen. And I got here the pastor down there now. Hallelujah. Amen. I want Aaron to repeat after me. Ah. I, I, Aaron Solomon says, ah. Do Solomon declare, Do Solomon declare, I know not, that I know not, of any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment, why, why, I, I, call your name, Aaron Solomon says, be joined in holy matrimony in holy matrimony to other blessing to one more Oh, 
his name, please. Yes. Yes. Call it here. I did wear these. I 
we have come to also do what has kept us for the past 14 years. The word of God says, by the anointing, the youth is broken. And the Lord can also preserve the Lord and lead you into favor. Today, as we pray for you, we want you to believe that you are about to enter into another atmosphere. Amen. Atmosphere of God's favor. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for the head of this womb. As I anoint him today, I gave him wisdom for divine leadership. Amen. A leadership that will take this family to God. And a leadership that will bring proud to this family. Amen. Lord, I decree today that this head will be controlled by the Holy Spirit. And I declare in the name of Jesus that he will take this family to where God has destined them to be. I come against every plan of the enemy against his life. And I speak good health over him. Lord, I decree that by me, other young men will use him as examples. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding him. Today, Lord, I anoint your daughter. I pray for the grace of the wife. I pray for the grace of the wife. Not a life. A loving wife. A wife that will bring comfort to her home. A wife that will bring peace to her home. I decree, Lord, that out of her shall flow rivers of living water. Because of her, this home will not struggle. It will not lack anything good. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name. Arise and shine. For the light is shine. And the glory of the Lord is resting upon thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we are about to pronounce them, Amen. we will ask all the servants of God standing here to call your name. Starting from our far right, you will call your name. Hallelujah. And then I will conclude in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm very dummy in. Pastor Marvin Kala. Very little in color. Pastor Nata Edwards. I'm Samuel Ryan Sugar Johnson. Very Joshua O. Oba. Pastor William H. Nangwe. Amen. Pastor Michelle B. Sega. Amen. And I, Father of this house, Brother Simon P. Edwards, with these great men and women backing me today, we declare you both husbands and wives.
uh, we thank God for the day. The Bible says, in everything which you gave thanks, for this is the way in Christ Jesus for sending me. I'm my top of system. And I think from all the way Ghana, for me, I'm a Ghanaian woman. I'm married to a Ghanaian man. So I think from all the way Ghana, for me, to satisfy my sister daughter. So I say on behalf of my sister, Martha Paul, to say in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, you are welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the organizer. Amen. 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 Oh man, I'm the IP video. Ha. In Jesus' name. For the whole the love of the Lord family, we have come to say thank you to the Almighty God who have made all the rich and star. Again, thanks to our pleasure name, the pastoral board. Who have stirred the affair of this all important program. And to our beloved daughter, our name is Friday, but let me say blessings first. That is a blessing to we, the family, senior, beautiful, energetic, caring, and loving daughter stepping out there. To move on our own with our men. Mr. Samuel, thank you ever so much for the post I did. It is your decision. Even if people stay so many years together, but whether the men, let's say whether the woman pressurizes the men, is a man that takes his decision. So the step I would have to take today is through your decision. Thank you for keeping the faith. And our daughter has made a promise. You know the family is a family. It's a family that holds on things. It's a family that runs a decision, and the decision remains the decision of the Almighty. And the Almighty always bless our decision. So, why you and your energetic, caring, and loving husband as you are, we live together today. As, as the elders brought you people together, you will have the Father, the Son, and the blessings of the Son. As you have all your glass, can you please rise as we toast for the memory we share in the church and we are about to share here? Hello? In the name of the Father and the Son. And the blessings of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name today. I know the food can you call when you're here, so don't forget about the plastic and for seal. Let's give it all as welcome. Remark and toast by the Groom family. Remark and toast by the Groom family. It is my yes. In Jesus' name, amen. All is good. Well, we thank God for the beautiful program. And I thank God for my son to make a better decision. And we honor the honor of Jesus Christ. And God guide him, and he do what all he able to do. All the blood of Jesus Christ. So as they thank God, they feel me on the woman's side, friends, uncle, pastor man. They say God bless you. 
we thank you uh, that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So we be drawn by Edna W. I mean Edna A. W. Jabu. Jacob, sorry, Jacob. I have been at Willow School. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will give it up for Edna A.W. Jago, please. Clap for Hana. Jago, sorry, Jago. Yeah. Embarrassed. They all told me the other day, they said, oh man, 
Why you have to me on my phone? I said, I'm cleaning. Sorry. While I was sweeping, the children never knew nothing about taking care of anything. You know what? They just came out of the wall. While I dream her up to the time we went, until she told me, Mama, I'm not able. But they told the children, eat the little food, eat the pen. By the time they eat the little kitchen daddy, I am going to eat everything. Why you can't let me go to this and be my poor sister? I now on video to see the thing in there where Jack gave me problem. So I said, okay, that would be a good idea. Let me send you there. I said, oh, that she will happen. From there on, what I have been for him, Nobody knows who what I want. But this is the woman I gave one to me. She went for it. So I want to be grateful to God. They never, never say, oh, the woman will run away with our child. They trust him with a child. And who free? The old man there. I am proud of them. They trust him with a child. She went to school and she respects school. She respected us. She graduated us from college. She graduated from college, she was poor, and she stayed home. I want to tell God thank you today. I'm a proud mother. I'm a very proud mother. They see me dancing and I'm dancing for nothing. I'm giving purpose for this wedding and for a project. And today I see this wedding moving on. I am a proud mother. My sister came from Ghana. The other one are next to me too. She's been cooking so she can. We keep purpose because we love this child. She's so responsible and respectful. So we say we we'll make the sacrifice to make you happy. Yeah, yeah. So we don't make her happy. So children are living with people. Be humble. You never know what God will do. I am proud of what I am so proud of you, baby. God bless you, Aaron. And then the good thing about Aaron, Aaron become a son. Can you imagine? Aaron become a son. From the time we came from Ghana, two of them met. Now, hey, yeah, you are seeing so. She didn't bring John today, she bring, she didn't bring John today, she bring David today, tomorrow. She brought Aaron, and Aaron became a son in this family. So I am proud of her. I am so proud of them. So I want to tell God, thank you. And I want to tell my sister, my daughter, one end, and her sister, we got one end, we got one end. We got one end, we got one end, we got one end, all of them there. They say, Mama, go and make one end happy. So I'm here today to make her happy. So you will play a special music for me and my baby to dance. That dancing time, that special music to dance with her. So I want to tell you guys, thank you. Enjoy what you enjoy and be happy in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You know, <clears throat> like I was saying, when you're in a community, now all the small children are be singing, it is raining. Oh, wow, me. You carry them for a program in the Mayushin. During Pastor Kumar's birthday, it makes it the best thing of what I will 50 key. I call my boy Paul, I call Yan Fan, I call Mukoto, I call Jojo, I call everybody. I said, my man, I have a 20 year old, I will take you. Pass on the program, the first year I sang. Pastor K, I mean, Pastor Koma, I run the 50 kid, and then add an additional 10 kid. And then give it, we look at one another, say, but no, we take it. I want more time reach. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to call, put your hands together as you call, Miss Beautiful Katarina Williams. She now called with her teacher police at Ali again. She walked my just in calling. You know the smart dream when I really go, when I really get recitation, I ain't gonna get bad, they get bad at it. Then she turned around. We're waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, my son is in time to see Moses. You look at one another, Paul. I won't have problem with you. You see, you look at one another, and we're discussing 50 KLD. That again stood up. They give courage. She will raise her son. Ooh, see Moses. As a woman, oh, he enjoying 
que é? Cheguei aí. Simãozinho. She asked, now who won't go there? She left from where she was standing, she won't pass her kuma, pass her kuma, say, your power won't go there. The best man for a welcome remark and that of a pose. The best man. Your peace come for the best man. Your shot for you. Yeah. Your shot for you. In wedding night, I'm going to be better than what I'm going to tell you when I'm going to get serious with you. Don't forget about me. And now, I'm going to stay here for sale. Don't forget, oh. 
to my son, to my game go, say me carry, take it away, me manage it for the next day. And my son, my old girl, freeze, so we put it there, freeze. Don't do the last one in the Quran. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, oh my, oh papi, young girl, young boy. Let us give it up as welcome. Respond from the groove, man. Clap for him, clap for him, clap for him, clap for him. Yeah. So let you go. So let you go. He has done it for me. So let you go. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and give God in there. Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm very glad at this time to see all of you here gather for this great occasion. Even that we always remember that you know, this story is a lifetime story. I'm humbled standing before you today, feeling so blessed. But I met my beautiful wife. What a blessing, Lord Sensei. I'll call the full name again. What a blessing, Lord Sensei. Uh, at a time where I was working with an NGO called Touching Humanity in the End of Kindness. And it was a starting point for me. But this day, I went to work and I saw this beautiful girl on a bright morning, the rising sun. You know, whenever you want to look for a woman or a push of girl, don't do it in the night. Do it soon morning. Where is the woman I wash your face here? <laughs> and there's the time that I saw why that when I came to work, sitting early that morning in a mega, a beautiful peach mega. <laughs> and I think this is why we chose that color. Yeah, so very bitter. Uh, we had a cool man. <laughs> In our working era, he's a very <laughs> information man. He gave all information. And so this day, I saw the old man and I said, I saw one fun, beautiful girl early this morning sitting on that porch. And our office was right opposite what a no says you pass. I will call her name a thousand times because I can't get tired of calling it. And like the story goes, my wife, she's a very humble person. And the story can end. It takes a woman, it takes a girl, it takes a child to be committed. And success. It doesn't just come easy. We see people coming, uh, healing a person, then which means they have done something so special that ordinary person can just do easy. So I saw the old man that morning and when I said, Ira, that girl, a <laughs> mother, I said, well, I will not relent, but I really, really love her. 
and I love her for a reason. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. And he never believed me. He said, You're only a young boy there, you're up for all over. And I'm a daughter there. But how can so this girl become your daughter? <laughs> Say, but I know her mother, I call her mother Mato Paul. If you see that woman say, he will stand before and tell her, say, I love your daughter. I said, no, I will take the challenge, I will go there for her. He said, the daughter in her yard, he will ask her mother. And I threw the daughter and he said, very rough daughter. And we left her, and that's it, I came to her. Always pray at least so that I can see the girl passing on me. They said, Look, I can't in my working area so I can just talk to her. So, one that morning, she sent her little sister to call her Joanna. Joanna came here that morning. She said, Oh, uh, Uncle, my sister said she will charge her phone. I said, Wow. Uh, blessing for me. <laughs> so uh, she had one photo roller. Uh, quickly, I put the generator on. My boss didn't have to work, but I was supposed to start the generator on my boss day because I put it on for a while. And so she started charging my phone. The baby came to work and saw me and said, Why are you smiling in the morning, so? I said, Well, I guess something I'm holding on to. I said, Why are you saying her phone here for me to charge? He said, you're the beginning of your manipulator. How do you manage? I said, I'll say this again. He said, she was saying, she was looking at me for me. Hey, 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 I feel a certain smile in my face. So I'm taking out. So I'm going to come for him. She sent, she sent her little sister again. And I'm brave enough to go walk in her yard and he didn't talk to her. So this day, her son, she got a phone. I want you to pay charge your phone for me. I said, wow. What do you mean? They call me Wade. Say, have you been here before? She said, Yeah, I've been living here almost like six months now. I said, Ah, where you can be? Say, the whole day I'm inside. She very preserved woman. Let me see. And she said, I go to school from school. I come straight back in. The devil is a liar. And we talk for a few minutes and she, ste she stepped out. So I found a way and I met her, I talked to her. I said, but I love you. She said, hey, bro, let me tell you for sure. I love you too as well. No, no, seriously. She said, I love you as well, but, but my mother had told me about Liberian boss, and I'm now a Liberian, but Ghanaian. Because she went Ghana three years and, you know, and came back in that age. So she said, my mother said, if. Anyone having to propose to me, I should carry them there first. I said, ah, they think I'm running away from me, seriously. <laughs> and the only time I can go out with you on a date, say, so, uh, I said, okay, no problem. I will see what I do. And we kept talking, we exchanged numbers. And we talk most frequently at times. And I decided to go and see her and see her mother, the mother of woman. I haven't seen her one day at the house. 
So, uh, so when I tried, I bought a new clothes. And when I was saying, I said, you never have the second chance to make first impression. So, I decided to make myself very neat. You got to bring your conga old man and <laughs> dress it down. So, I got a new suit. But still, that never gave me the courage, you know, to go to that house in the day. I left it in town until it was around 5 o'clock. I said, yes, I think I can go. And I said, no. I check, check, check. I said, no, we're going to make it 6 o'clock. But well, I need everybody coming home now. And, but still, I have to go anyway. I pulled it, I stepped in the yard. When I saw a huge lady again, I was scared. So the lady came out, I thought I was mad at her. But it was a, a sister called Helena Paul, the lady that did the killer. So when she came outside, she said, What are you here for? I said, I came to pay an visit to my friend. So, but you can't show yourself to your mother in law that you come in our their days. It's so, about free free. Come, come, sit down. Let me brush this out and get you something to eat. She gave me a seat and I said, and She said, If I say, Come, let me sit down my lap, let me feel. You know, when you're walking with a grace, nothing can stop you. So, I beg you. Carrying the grace until I found a very beautiful wife. And I sat on the woman's lap and then she fed me with the rest. She said, you okay now? I said, yes, I'm okay. But still, I'm not satisfied. Why a new woman coming to talk to her? I said, oh my. <laughs> she said, but I get way to feel free. Yeah, feel relaxed. You know, they are very hospital. And just in that time, I saw the woman herself coming. She said, my man, you can't look for a woman. They come in power the day. That time, they can look for a woman. <laughs> so I felt scared for the engagement. So I said, uh, I was so sorry, but I was busy. And I decided, you know, try to find some excuses now. And she said, OK, you're welcome. Just the guy, she said, this judgment. There was no interview. And she said, you worked in here at all times, my daughter had told me everything. But the only thing is that, uh, you are my son. And as you work on in this home, you should promise me that you will always be here with us. And I said, oh yes, I promise. And I will try my possible best so that I can be able to fulfill it. Every other promise that I've been here today. And he said, Oh, anytime you are welcome. And I felt so relieved. And I said, But what did he say? I was hiding all this long time. I couldn't control myself. So this day, I'm very glad, very happy. And I'm so happy for all of you to come and celebrate this wonderful event with us that we'll always remember and I want us to raise our glass. The man the fulfill, my just calling. The man can make the all I have. You want me all to understand that he can be fine. Say, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome in the house of God. Who now do? Well, as you can see, there is my beautiful family and our beautiful daughter. I want to be grateful to God. You know, He blessed me with a beautiful wife. Everybody clap your hand. But the one who don't know that I fell in that farm when they put him on the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, can we all stand on our feet as we welcome Pastor Davis, the member of the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. As you can see, 
Daddy is my family, but not a waste of time. That goes straight to the Bible. The mother and family now family. I'm driving my own. I went to church because of the. You know, you want to get married, come closer. It's time to chop the flower. Oh, yes, he came closer. TJ, TJ. If you know that you want to get married, TJ, look for I want now. The first time here. Says you to walk to the gate while we do the cutting of the cake. Yeah. Then from there, don't forget, don't feel free for you can you open your gift. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. We hear say your dad to know. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. All right, this is not high. Can we answer? Can you come close as they are about to call the cake, please? It's so alive. It's time now to call the cake, for them will be asking the. A woman to turn the flower to see who will catch it. And when you catch it, you get married. I will leave behind you. Jai, you catch it. Hey, yes. Team organizer. Can you come close quick, please, Lee? Yeah, DJ. Jai, be playing this one smile. The battle called the king. Oh, let me see you. Let me see you. So, let you go. He has no way for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. What? The reason they say the woman should choose the cake is because. The man has finished his part. He left for you now to sweeten your love as this cake. That's why they always say the cake for the woman. Yeah. So you have to have the package of patience. You have to have the package of forgiveness. And every mistake you made, you should lay after it. Or else you will not have it. You should always be patient, my daughter, as you will know that you are patient. So that is a small word I got for you. When we get back to the house, I will advise you. So we can the cake in the name of the Father.
All the time you can join with the same 15 years and get married. Ladies and gentlemen, who want to pass it? Who want to pass it? We talk about the new phone, I see what you talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time that we present our guest, DJ Trapping. After that, we'll be calling some of the new phone.
If the Kenyan man is not around, can we ask Miss Beautiful Mitchell Zixi to go and do our closing prayer? Mommy! Mommy! This is our closing prayer. Thank you.